This is a how-to video on how to use MindMaster. First, when you get to your home page after you log in or, or have created an account, you will see that you can create a new mind map, new folder to organize your mind maps, or import one. Then, on top of that, you can go to the home page, my channel, my maps, or public maps. You can even search for things that you are looking for. You can upgrade your plan at the top by your name. Then, if you want to see the ones that you've already made, they're listed right below, right here. To create a new one, you just click New Mind Map. Then you can pick out of any template you want, and there are tons to choose from. They're all organized once you get in here by categories, and you just click what one you are interested in. I'm going to use the project plan. Use template. Then create your template that you can personalize from there. I've run out of maps because I only have a, a basic plan. So I can just delete one by clicking and click delete. Okay. Now let's create one. I'll use this one. From here, you can type in your plan. Then you can have your goals, problems, ideas, and action problems based on this brainstorming. Then you can just take it and drag it wherever you would like and it will move, can, keeping everything connected. If you want to get rid of something, you just click the minus sign, and you want to add it back, you just click the plus sign. Then on the left, you can zoom in and out of your... To click and move, or move your map around, you just click and move. This can be very helpful when making complex maps. Then, on the right, you can change the font size from small, medium, and large, bold, italics, and the different colors for font. This can be very helpful for when organizing things. Below that, you can add symbols that fit what your map is talking about. And share it, and I'll work it out in the same time. This is really nice. 